Uh, so my first dram ever was a Ben Riach. Um, it wasn't my first dram, but it was the first dram that I had that made me realise that my Jack and Coke from a paper bag days were over. Um, my favourite whisky bar in the UK, I think has to be actually the bar at Nockingham Lodge near Port Patrick. Uh, not necessarily a whisky bar, but they've got a really good selection and they've also got their own beach. Win-win. So I really like Lily Lang trees in, uh, in New York, in Manhattan, Broadway. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really, really fun, really, really old school. Ooh, an old fashioned is definitely my go-to whiskey cocktail. Uh, feels a bit grown up, doesn't it? Do you know, as a bargain bottle, I think the Co-op actually do a really good uh, own brand single malt, which, yeah, has been very useful at Christmas and other things like that. I like whiskey with a little bit of ice because I like the sound. I've totally gone off a very, very peaty whiskey. I love the Isle of Skye, just the whole place. I think it's a stunning place and uh, just far enough away from the mainland that you know it really means business. So my latest whiskey discovery is in fact uh, an Irish whiskey, a uh, Waterford whiskey, which we had a bottle of uh, at Christmas time. And it's the quickest I've ever seen a bottle disappear. Uh, and my granny only had two glasses. So uh, yeah, Waterford whiskey, very nice. I love a talisker. Maybe it comes back to my loving sky, but I love just quite a simple talisker. I think it's warming, it's comforting, um, it does everything I want it to do. I quite like a good tasting note. I think they can be a lot of fun. I think they can be informative, but I think everyone has to have a reference point for a tasting note. You know, if something smells like your first girlfriend's hair in the afternoon sun, eh, that's lovely, but that means nothing to me. So uh, yeah, there's a time and a place, I think. I love uh, Dorothy Parker uh, as a cabaret performer. She's absolutely a hero of mine. Witty, filthy, unapologetic, all of these wonderful things, um, and also a whiskey drinker. So in my dram fam, uh, it's literally just me and my sister. So <laughs> me and my sister, Catherine, uh, because you don't want to share those good bottles with loads and loads of people. Uh, and also Catherine is amazing at snacks and snacks are very, very important. I quite like actually sweet snacks, like a sort of a chocolate ginger is quite nice. Um, or something a bit creamy, like a sort of smoked fish, creamy, chowdery, little mmm, crustady thing. Yeah. Or nuts. Nuts are great too. <laughs> Love a nut. So my last sipper is a green spot, Laville Barton. Now I know it's Irish, um, but my husband is actually Irish and this was a whiskey that he gave to my father as a present because Laville Barton is his favourite Bordeaux. And uh, in fact, Thomas Barton, who gave the name to Levo Barton, is an Irishman. So I just really like the sort of double connections and Irish connections, family connections. Um, it's also just really fruity and really easy to drink. And I'd probably mix it with ginger ale just to really ramp up the scandal.